A wood near Stafford has become home to a unique £15 million experiment by scientists from the University of Birmingham. They want to understand how forests will react to our changing global climate, so they're artificially raising carbon dioxide levels around the trees. Our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar is the first reporter to see the science as it starts to work. In the last few days, more than 100 masts, weighing two tonnes each, have been helicoptered into place in a wood near Stafford. This is the Free Air Carbon Dioxide Enrichment Experiment, or FACE for short. We've known for, for a long time, through experiments in labs and greenhouses and so on, how an individual tree or an individual leaf will respond if you give it more carbon dioxide. The really important part of this experiment is that it's happening outside in the real world and so we can look at the whole ecosystem. These masks will pump out CO2, recreating the Earth's climate as it will be in 50 to 70 years' time, thanks to the CO2 we all produce as part of our everyday industrial lives. So when the experiment is up and running, they'll store the CO2 gas in these giant cylinders here. And every day, they'll get through about 15 tonnes of CO2. Now that does sound like a lot, but in fact, it's only equivalent to the amount of CO2 a passenger jet puts out crossing the Atlantic one way. But construction has been hard work. It's actually a scientific experiment and something that we can't do any damage to the environment and we've got to sneak around and put our buildings in place without causing any damage whatsoever. And that's why you need a helicopter. But now, with construction finished, it's nearly time for the experiment to begin. Since the Industrial Revolution and since we've been burning coal and oil and gas, the land surface has been taking up about one in every three molecules of carbon dioxide. And we really, as a species, we need the plants to continue to do that. But we haven't got the experiments that prove that they will. Until now, this small patch of Staffordshire wood will help answer some of the most fundamental environmental questions we face. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, Stafford.